or an explosive court filing in Atlanta today, now raising new questions about Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis and the relationship that she had with the special prosecutor that she hired to oversee the election interference case against former President Donald Trump. Cell phone data obtained by Trump's legal team shows Nathan Wade, that special prosecutor, visited Willis's neighborhood at least 35 times in the 11 months before Willis hired him in late 2021. Twice, Wade arrived late at night and left early the following morning. The data shows about 2,000 calls and 12,000 text messages between Wade and Willis from January to November 2021. Why this matters, the timeline is everything in this case. Joining me now on the phone is former assistant district attorney of Fulton County, Daryl Cohen. Uh, Daryl, thanks for joining us. Um, we sat and watched as this hearing originally started. Um, what do you make of these new revelations? This is damning. At the very best, it's troubling. It seems to completely contradict the testimony of both Fonnie Willis and of Nathan Wade. And because of that, this could be a complete game changer in terms of how Judge McAfee decides to rule. Um, the timeline here, the timeline is extremely important. Um, get viewers up to speed about why this timeline matters. Well, it matters because the testimony has been that Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade became friends. They met at a conference, and he was hired before any of this took place, and that they did not have any type of relationship other than completely a business relationship. Now, if these texts and if these pings on the telephone are accurate, that changes the entire ball game and means that there could be some untruth that's been told under oath. In other words, it could be perjury, and I hope it isn't, and because so, this is very sad. Yeah, I mean, at the heart of the matter, really, then, in this case right now, all the, I mean, this has nothing to do with the actual case against Donald Trump and the other co-defendants in the election interference case. This is all to do with if Foddy Willis, the district attorney, benefited financially from hiring who we know now ended up being her boyfriend. So that's why the time, it, the timeline of this is so important. If it happened before, then there's a problem. If it happened after, it might be a problem as far as optics are concerned, but not necessarily something that would get the office kicked off this case. Now, let's just say the um, Fonnie Willis's entire office gets removed from this case. What happens next? Then it goes to the prosecutor's counsel, and they locate an assist, excuse me, a district attorney's office who is capable and willing of prosecuting the case. That could be near impossible. Clayton County District Attorney has already said she cannot handle it. That leaves DeKalb County, Cobb County, and that's about it because it has to be a large office that has the ability and the people to prosecute it and the budget because the budget's going to just explode with this type of case. So you're saying it could get thrown out altogether? I'm not saying that, but it could. I, this is predictably unpredictable. Right. None of this had been predicted, but it's taking on a case. It's a case that's taking on its own course, and we have no idea why it did what it did, but it's taking on a life of its own. So as each revelation unfolds, it becomes more and more troubling. Um, I, I'm not sure you stopped talking yet because I can't hear you at this moment, but... Oh, I'm sorry. I can hear you. No, here. that's not you. That's not you. Um, did Fonnie Willis, didn't she know that they would be able to get these records? You know something? I think some of us, when affairs of the heart get in the way of affairs of the mind, we don't believe that we're visible. We think we're invisible and invincible. And I like Fonnie very much, but I am so disappointed in what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing. 
and we'll just have to wait and see how it plays out. But every day is a new revelation, some good, some bad, depending on what side you're looking, you're looking at. But it doesn't change the facts in the Trump case. It does change who may or may not prosecute it, whether it will or will not be prosecuted, whether or not it will delay the prosecution. If mm. Bonnie is no longer on the case, if her office is no longer allowed to prosecute the case, then it will delay things immeasurably. Daryl Cohen, thanks so much for joining us. Your insight is invaluable, and we'll keep watching this for sure. And we are now uh, awaiting President Biden to speak at the governor's meeting. He's there now. Here we go. Thank you. Please sit down. Thank you. If I were smart, I'd leave right now. Folks, uh, thank you very much. Governor Cox, Governor Polis, uh, all the governors for being here. I, I, I know uh, you just heard.